Hi, I am FTP and I'd like to welcome you to another tutorial on the Carolina Roller Girls Roller Derby Scoreboard software. It's a pleasure bringing these to you. I uh, really enjoyed making the last one and that was only about an hour ago and I'm already making another one. I uh, figured I'd go back to basics a little bit on this one. So we're taking a look at uh, entering team details, which is something that everyone has to do before about. So let's just log in to the CRG scoreboard here and we'll pop over to the team screen. So first we're going to basically add a new team. So enter the team name you want. Now we're going to talk about what names are used where in the scoreboard in a bit, but we'll uh, enter the name of the team we want to display in the operator panel there and select them on the left hand side. They appear instantly and let's start entering some skaters. So um, some of the skaters off the top of my head from uh, in a West Roller Derby League, my league. Um, we'll just do that. Now keyboard entry is the most convenient way to do this. Tabbing from the name to the number works. Hitting enter on that enters it instead of moving around and, and clicking on each field and using, uh, and using the add skater button just tab for the name and enter the name tab enter the number tab uh, enter and then enter the name tab enter a number and press enter now uh, here's a team that's missing a player so we're just going to add one of the missing players to this team and you'll notice that they appear in uh, the correct order in the right place and uh, it looks like there's someone missing from texas as well someone important uh, so we better add those as well now we're going to take a look a quick look at logos now uh, the best way to load a logo into the system is actually to jump out onto your operating system now yours will look different to this i, uh, I run a linux based operating system but it's much the same thing so copy the logos from where you download them and into the CRG directory, find HTML, look for images and the team logo folder. So drop them into there and paste. There we go. And back to our scoreboard after we close these windows. So it's close and close. And uh, we're going to pop back to the team tab. Now, if uh, the logos don't appear here, just drop back to another tab and back and you'll be able to select them. Now onto alternative names. You'll see the mobile. Now that's the name that appears in mobile controls. The operator controls is the um, main scoreboard operator. The overlay is the one used for streaming. And I think the last one is the Twitter name, which is used if you link uh, your scoreboard up to Twitter, which we might talk about in a few future episode. So on the overlay for this one we're going to say we want to call the team Texas. We're going to give the te Texas team a few names just so we can see where they uh, where they actually appear. So the tex Texas, Texas, um, uh, we'll set one for the uh, the other names. So the mobile operator, uh, let's see what will we put in here. Um, TXRG, or TX, yeah. Um, and lastly the operator, uh, what do we put in here? Um, how about kill kill kill? Yep. So we'll pop that one in, and cool, let's take a look at where they appear. Uh, so we'll open up a couple of the other pages in the main scoreboard here. You'll see that the... Oh, I haven't assigned the team yet. Okay, yep, so the assign team functionality, um, this is an important bit. So the teams are temporary until you copy them into the scoreboard. So we've just assigned that to team one. As you can see, our logo and name have appeared. Oh. And we will check some other places now to see how it looks in those places. So, um, here we go. And here you can see in the operator panel, they've been named Kill Kill Kill. You can change it in here just by clicking, as with many of the other settings. We'll just take the alternative name out now, just make it back to TXRG, much more uh, sensible. Taxi, yeah. Uh, and that will change it on the scoreboard as well. TXRG, and back over. Now there is a difference between the current teams and the teams defined, which we'll cover a little bit later on in this video. Uh, and we'll just have a quick look now at some of the other functions. Names appear uh, in the mobile, oops, under team score, but... Anyway, the mobile name appears there, and lastly, the um, the overlay. So, um, might take a look at the overlay in a bit. So, team colors. These colors are what appears in various places around the system. Again, mobile and operator, they don't really make much difference, and most of the overlays don't actually support um, any predefined colors. The one place that does support them well is on the scoreboard itself. So, we'll just pop, um, pop some colors in here, uh, some gold and some black, and maybe a silver, I don't know, um, they're not terribly Texas colours, but it's a good example just for this one. Assign that team back to the scoreboard, and uh, I'll remember to do that in a minute. Again, I'm recording the audio separately for the video, um, and um, I, I often forget to hit the assign button and expect something to work. There we go, so we can see the uh, the shadow, the, um, the gold, and 
the black we selected. Uh, so one of the other things here is uh, yep, transfer the information from the scoreboard that allows you to transfer changes you made inside the scoreboard back into the team you've got. So for instance, if we were to jump into team number one and what am I doing here? Yes, I'm adding myself to the uh, the roster for Texas. Um, probably wouldn't ever happen. Um, but uh, let's see how it goes. So you can see here, I just pop over to the uh, lineup controller screen, which you can see in another video, but you notice I'm in the roster. So jumping back here, uh, and we'll change down to the Texas team roster, and you'll notice I'm not there because we only updated the current team. So back to current team, yep, and I'm in there. So if we go back to Texas, we can actually use that assigned team function in the transfer section to bring the current roster in. So that assigns the team from left or right of the scoreboard, but we're going to remove me because I didn't actually make the uh, the charter for Texas this season. We'll try next season. Uh, um, uh, very unlikely anyway, uh, wrong gender too. But uh, moving on, um, so we'll set the name there again and we'll take a look into uh, some of the other sections here. So in team colours, uh, you can set some colours up. Um, you could develop an overlay that honoured these colours if you wished. Uh, the current one doesn't. We'll just take a quick look at that one. Um, setting some colours. I already know that this isn't going to work, so I'm <laughs> Uh, again, recorded the audio at a separate time, so it just popped into overlay. So the overlays here are used for um, a lot of the streaming stuff where we want to put a green screen scoreboard up, but the uh, the formats are fairly fairly static for that anyway. Um, again, as I said before, you could develop your own custom version. So moving on with what we're looking at, actually, we'll just take another look at uh, one of the other overlays. I'm pretty sure none of them do support any of this customization. No. So again, don't expect all of the colours to actually appear in, in the right places. Um, you can set colours for some scoreboard dots and other things, but it's not something that uh, many of us do. Mostly it's the logo and, and getting a team name up on the scoreboard. Uh, let's, uh, well, that's the end of my video for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I look forward to bringing you another tutorial on how to use CRG. Thank you. It's FTP from Inner West Roller Derby League.